Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today, we are once again going to talk about the U.S. House of Representatives and the apparently ever-shrinking Republican majority because another Republican representative, Mike Gallagher of Wisconsin, is uh, declining to finish the rest of his term. It's worth noting he's a committee chair. That's odd. Um, he has indicated he will be leaving on April 19th. April 19th is a date that uh, under Wisconsin law means there won't be a special election to fill his seat. It's just going to be vacant until the general. This means that in a party line vote, the Republican Party can have one representative cross. One. That is the thinnest of majorities. Okay. So, now that we have laid this out, it's time to do a little flashback. Remember the last Republican representative that decided not to finish his term? Ken Buck? Do you remember what he said on his way out the door? I think it's the next three people that leave they're going to be worried about. I mean, this could just be a coincidence. You have to keep that in mind. Um, at the same time, it's kind of worth noticing that Gallagher and Buck were both, let's just say, critical of House GOP antics when it came to things that were supposed to be serious endeavors, hypothetically speaking, impeachments. Given their similar position on that topic, it would not be surprising if Gallagher had mentioned to Buck that he was leaving. Which means that maybe there's two more coming. The Republican Party in the House, dysfunctional, disarray, these terms get thrown around a lot. Understand, this is, this is unusual. This is worth noting. And it seems to be those people who are more interested in abiding by, you know, the basic principles of the Constitution that are just, just, they're have, they've had enough. The Republican Party it is not the Republican Party of yesteryear. It is starting to show more and more as people who have been around. Gallagher's been up there, I don't know, seven years. And they're just not hanging around anymore. It's probably in large part due to the attitudes due to the infighting, due to the focus on social media, and due to the fact that, well, I mean, it's not like they've gotten anything done. I would imagine that there are a lot of people up there who feel like they're wasting their time. Um, or maybe it's just a wild coincidence, and there's not two more coming. Or maybe he knew about Gallagher, but just decided to throw a couple more in there to make uh, the leadership sweat. Any of it's possible. But the fact that another one occurred, and it's somebody who likely talked to Buck, it, it forces you to uh, give a little bit more credibility to the idea that there's more coming. 
anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.